Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Planet X News. This is Scott from the Nibiru channel. It is April 1st, 2017. And over the course of the last few weeks, I have had a lot of requests for information about the effects of what is happening to our sun on human life. Now, I myself am very sensitive to what is occurring. I discovered this for the first time the day after Christmas. We were actually facing a very large coronal hole and the day after Christmas, the temperature where I live was about 62 degrees when it should have been below freezing. I was out and about the entire day for approximately four hours and I was feeling fantastic. Later on that day, I became very ill. Every muscle in my body, every joint in my body hurt to the point where I could not move. I thought I was coming down with the flu. I also had a very, very severe headache directly behind my eyes. I thought, well, I must be getting sick. I have a sinus headache and the next 72 hours were literally hell for me. I was not able to get out of bed. I was not able to do anything at all. And then the morning of the fourth day, I woke up and I felt absolutely fantastic. And something else that occurred during that time period, when I woke up on that fourth day, my mind, my brain, the way that I was thinking, it was like my mind was on fire. My thought process was very clear and very precise. However, after investigating the effects of cosmic energy, solar energy on the human body and the human mind, it got me thinking, what are we going through with everything that has been happening with our sun and on our planet? I started looking into all of this and I had a long discussion with our physicist and she agreed that there are definite effects from what is occurring on our sun and what it does to the human body. And ladies and gentlemen, in no way, shape or form are we out of the woods. We are just feeling the precursor of what is to come. So let me go ahead and get directly into the report that she filed and sent over to me. This also deals with extra stars, such as the brown dwarf star in our solar system. The heading of her report states, would the extra stars in our solar system have health effects on the human body? A physicist thoughts, March 31st, 2017. Now it states in the past, the Earth's atmosphere has done a good job of protecting living organisms on the Earth's surface from radiation. The Earth's atmosphere absorbed most of that high energy radiation impacting our planet. Gamma rays and X-rays are well absorbed by the atmosphere. High energy particles from the solar wind are also effectively blocked from reaching the surface as they are deflected by the Earth's atmosphere. Some high energy particles like protons and electrons spiral along the Earth's magnetic field lines and are reflected back and forth by the Earth's magnetic poles. These particles become trapped and form what is called the Van Allen belts. Figure one shows an illustration of these Van Allen belts. The lower altitude belt contains protons and the higher altitude belt contains high energy electrons. The strong magnetic field at the Earth's north and south poles act as mirrors, reflecting both electrons and protons. And this is the illustration right here as I circle it with my cursor of the Van Allen belt. Let's move further into her report. She states that the atmosphere has, however, never been quite able to protect us from cosmic rays. And cosmic rays are any particle with an energy of 100 MeVs, megavolts, or more. A cosmic ray particle travels at a speed which is greater than 40% of the speed of light. In other words, 
These are revelistic particles. Cosmic rays are made up of mostly ionized hydrogen or protons, about 89%, some ionized helium, about 10%, and about 1% other nuclei such as iron, silicon, oxygen, carbon, and magnesium. When a cosmic ray, such as a high energy proton, impacts the atmosphere, it collides with an atmospheric particle, and it causes what is called an air shower. An air shower is the production of a cascade of secondary particles and gamma radiation. Some of these particles produced are the pion symbolized by pi, 3.14, if you're good at algebra. This uh, also states that it has a very short half-life, so it quickly decays to gamma rays and muons. The gamma rays give rise to particle and antiparticle creation, which results in the production of electrons and positrons, anti-electrons, and also protons and antiprotons. An air shower or cascade of particles is shown in figure two below. Now, ladies and gentlemen, she's getting very, very highly scientific with her explanation, but this is exactly what physicists do. And this is what they are trained and educated to do. It further states that muons are stable enough to reach the Earth's surface and cause damage to living organisms. They result in mutations and are therefore cancer-causing. Cosmic rays deplete the ozone layer and so increase the UVB, ultraviolet B radiation, emitted by the sun reaching the Earth's surface. UVB radiation is also cancer-causing. The UVA radiation that our atmosphere allows through is not as damaging, but overexposure prematurely ages the skin and suppresses the immunity, which may then lead to susceptibility to bacterial and viral infections. Another cosmic ray particle that is very damaging to living organisms is the neutron. Neutrons do not ionize other particles directly, but when a nucleus absorbs a neutron, a gamma ray is given off, which can then ionize other particles. Also, high energy neutrons are more damaging to living tissue than gamma rays of the same energy. They are also cancer causing. The usual source of cosmic rays is from outside of the solar system. The sun's solar wind produces a bubble around the solar system, which deflects most of these particles. However, when the sun weakens, as it has been doing for a number of years, the cosmic ray flux impacting Earth also increases. Since the sun is now weaker than ever, the amount of cosmic rays from outside of the solar system impacting the Earth must have greatly increased. In addition to the sun's corona stops very high energy particles from leaving the sun's surface. But when a coronal hole forms, these high energy particles are now able to leave the sun's surface. This means that because of the increasingly larger size of the coronal holes on the sun, the sun is an increasingly greater source of cosmic rays. These cosmic rays have detrimental effects on human health. The most likely initial effect is tiredness and inflammation as the body tries to deal with the assault on its cells. Thus, the presence of extra stars in the solar system, which connect magnetically to our sun and cause the creation of coronal holes, leads to a greatly increased cosmic ray flux which then has a negative impact on human health. The other way that these objects can affect human health is through their strong magnetic fields. Now, since a brown dwarf star is a collapsed star, collapsed star, they are denser and more normal than other stars. They also rotate much faster and produce high magnetic fields in proportion to their size, 
We've gone over a lot of this information in some of my other videos. These magnetic fields can have a direct impact on the human brain as there is evidence that magnetic fields affect the brain's ability to release serotonin in synopsises. Synopsises are the connections between neurons or neurocells in the brain. A decrease in serotonin is associated with depression, anger, anxiety, insomnia, and headaches, including migraines. Radio waves can also affect the transfer of serotonin across synopsises and so lead to the same problems. In conclusion, the presence of a brown dwarf star or stars in the solar system is very likely to be having multiple negative effects on the human body from suppression of the immune systems to cancer and possibly also to headaches and anxiety due to serotonin deficiency. And ladies and gentlemen, there are probably numerous other health effects to the human body that we don't know about, but the bottom line is our body is absorbing any type of this cosmic radiation or this increased solar radiation impacting the earth because of what is happening on our sun. This is very detrimental to our health. And as I said in the beginning of this video, we are not by any means out of the woods. We are actually in the beginning stages of looking at something that's going to get much worse as time goes on. I mentioned yesterday that in my investigations into what is happening within our solar system, the month of April and the month of May are going to be very, very critical times for our planet. And now as I read this report, it only secures in my mind that we are definitely under threat. We are under a serious threat to our planet and now to our own human health. This is Scott from Planet X News and the Nibiru Channel. Thank you for watching. And ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please stay updated, stay informed, and stay tuned. It's also a very good idea to share our video information on Facebook and Twitter. This awakening must come now. If you are interested in food and water prepping supplies for any emergency, you can visit my affiliate, foodforliberty.com, and their link will be in the description box under the video. We also ask that you make sure that you are subscribed to Planet X News and the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet X News. This is Scott from the Nibiru channel. It is April 1st, 2017. And over the course of the last few weeks, I have had a lot of requests for information about the effects of what is happening to our sun on human life. Now, I myself am very sensitive to what is occurring. I discovered this for the first time the day after Christmas, we were actually facing a very large coronal hole. And the day after Christmas, the temperature where I live was about 62 degrees when it should have been below freezing. I was out and about the entire day for approximately four hours and I was feeling fantastic. Later on that day, I became very ill. Every muscle in my body every joint in my body hurt to the point where I could not move. I thought I was coming down with the flu. I also had a very, very severe headache directly behind my eyes. I thought, well, I must be getting sick. I have a sinus headache. And the next 72 hours were literally 
hell for me. I was not able to get out of bed. I was not able to do anything at all. And then, the morning of the fourth day, I woke up and I felt absolutely fantastic. And something else that occurred 